Okay guys, it's windy out here, but this is one of my favorite plants. It's the Brazil philodendron, and you can tell by the nice stripe that runs through it. So I'm kind of getting my plants used to being outside. It's, you know, that time of the year. And um, because I will bring my house plants outside. So this is the Brazil philodendron. They're super easy. Basically, for me, I found that they like moderate sun. They don't like full sun. So if you have them in a full sun window, depending on where you live, you could burn the leaves. But a lot of it depends on if you have a north facing, south facing, under a deck, and all that. If you bring your plant outside. Inside, it does fine in the sun, but if it starts to get too crispy on the leaves, I move it. But the more it's in the sun, the more you're going to see this, this leaf variegation is what I love. It's just so beautiful. When I first time I saw the Brazilian philodendron, I just like totally fell in love. I had to find one and get one and fortunately for me they have them around here occasionally and I just fell in love super easy to propagate you just cut off um, a couple leaves pull off the bottom too because where they make their babies so to speak is right there I'll show you if I can get it closer right there you at that spot so if you put it in sideways that's the knob that's how you will get it now some people say which seems to be the the thing you can tell a philodendron from a pothos because of that onion skin look on the on the gnome so there you guys go all about brazilian philodendron get a few and uh you can watch me as i garden and look at some of my own uh, my other house plant videos and um what i always say and i can't say this enough you're gonna watch tons of videos online about taking care of plants but really, guys, you just have to treat them like your children. Train them up in the way they should go because you can uh, put them in a pot, kind of put them around the house, and when you find the spot they love, keep it there because sometimes, you know, like a good example would be my Boston fern. I thought, well, I'll keep my Boston fern in the shade. Well, you know what? It didn't do good. I moved it in the sun, and it was like happy as a clam and grew and grew and grew and grew. And then other plants, I thought, oh, they love sun. Well, they hated the sun, so I put them in the shade. So you're really going to have to monkey with them. There's no set rule for any plant. There's some thoughts on it, but really you have to take each plant and put it in your environment and find the best place for it. Okay, guys, remember, big or small, you too can be a backyard farm. God bless.